everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make vegan cranberry bars. This is actually a recipe that I used to make before I went vegan and I figured why don't I veganize it? And I wanted to show you that it is so easy to veganize recipes. So going vegan doesn't necessarily mean that you have to throw out all of your family recipes and all of your favorite recipes out the window. You just have to figure out how to veganize it. So this is a super easy recipe with minimal ingredients and I will leave the original recipe down below. It's not mine. Like I said, it's super easy. It's perfect for the holidays and very delicious. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving and we are having Thanksgiving in our house. So I figured the night before I would just make a few desserts just so I don't have to make everything all in one day. So let me know what you're making for Thanksgiving down below. I would love to know. I'm actually happy we're having Thanksgiving here even though we're probably gonna be stressed out trying to get everything cooked and entertain people and all of that. But at least I can make whatever I want vegan and I don't have to worry about going over someone's house and turning something down because it's not vegan or making sure I bring my own dish. I can make whatever I want vegan. My husband, who is not vegan, he is making a couple of non-vegan dishes, and then I'm going to be making most of the sides, a few desserts, and I also bought a field roast vegan roast. So, it should be fun. So let's get into this recipe. Like I said, it's super easy, very delicious, and I wanted to show you that it's not that hard to veganize recipes. So, so going vegan, it doesn't mean that you have to forget about all of your favorite recipes from before you went vegan. You just have to find alternatives to some of the ingredients. And I will show you right now how to do that. So to make these vegan cranberry bars, you are going to need one cup of butter. I'm using Earth Balance. You're going to need two thirds cup of sugar. And some of you may not know this because I was very shocked when I found this out whenever I went vegan, but a lot of refined white sugar is not vegan. So it's very important that you get the organic kind or if you know that your store carries um, vegan sugar, then definitely get that. But that was one thing that I did not know and I was very surprised by. It's the way that they process it through animal bones and things like that, it's disgusting and unnessary. So anyways, you're gonna need two thirds cup of organic white sugar. You're gonna need one and a half cups of fresh cranberries. You're gonna rinse them and pat them dry. Two cups of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And that's it. So these are literally only six ingredients. So you want your butter to be room temperature. My butter has been in the fridge, so I might just throw it in the microwave for just a few seconds just to warm it up. So I just put the butter in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to warm it up and so it's more like room temperature. The first step is to set your oven for about 350 degrees and then we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. And I'm actually going to have to take you over there to the other side of my kitchen because that's where my stand mixer is. Okay, so you've probably never seen this side of my kitchen, but this is just a little, I have my little coffee station over there, and here's my stand mixer, and this was actually a quilt that my husband's grandmother made, and um, she passed away, but my mother-in-law, she framed this for us. So, yeah, now back to the recipe. <laughs> so we're just going to cream the butter and sugar together. Okay, now that that's creamed, we're then going to beat in the salt and vanilla. All right, and then salt, we need about a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then we're to mix the flour in. parchment paper and then you want to take about two-thirds of the dough and then press it down on the pan. So here is 
the dough. If you can see that, I press that down. And then you're gonna take the cranberries and put them on top and then press them into the dough. Once your cranberries are all pressed in the dough, it should look like that. And then we're going to take the rest of the dough and crumble it on top. Okay, so here is what it looks like with the rest of the dough crumbled on top. Alright, so I just put it in the oven for about 40 minutes. That's what I set my timer for. The recipe says for about 45 to 50 minutes, but I'm just going to check on it and to see if it's golden brown at about 40 minutes. So I will see you in about 40 minutes. Okay, I just took them out of the oven and this is what they look like. I did sprinkle sugar on top. That's totally optional, you don't have to do that. It's not part of the recipe, I just like that extra sweetness, especially for the holidays, it's okay to indulge. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this cool for about five to 10 minutes and then I'm going to cut them up. All right, so the cranberry bars are all finished and they look absolutely amazing. They still need to cool a little bit, but um, this is how they turn out whenever they're done. So like I said, this recipe was super easy, very minimal ingredients, and my main purpose of making this not only for the holidays, but also to show you that it's super easy to veganize your recipes. So I hope you tried this recipe out. If you do, let me know down below and also let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving and what you're making. I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys! Bye.